Hey, you fellas, get out of here with the shim shams and your palawakas. You get out of here, you fing. Yeah, the fing. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the J Buck Studios channel, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways, though, went out to the theater, and Guy Ritchie is back at it with his latest film. The Gentleman. Mickey Pearson has built a marijuana empire over in Jolly O, London, but when word gets out that he's looking to cash out the business, it soon triggers an array of plots and schemes from those who want his fortune. So is The Gentleman a nice return to form for Guy Ritchie? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of The Gentleman, if you've already able to check this film out, or if you're very much looking forward to it. Now let's get into some of the good. So Guy Ritchie hasn't had the best track record in the last few years. I mean, Aladdin was fine, King Arthur not so much, and I never actually saw the man from uncle i've heard that it's good and whatnot but i felt like the gentleman was a nice return to form again like i mentioned a return to form for guy ritchie and his style and flavor and everything that kind of is where he got started i mean i was first exposed to him in snatch and lock stock um two loaded barrels and i felt like the gentleman was very much in that world it had these wacky eccentric characters which i'll get into later but the snappy dialogue it was very much this crime story but with a very heavy self-aware almost comedic elements as well and i would say that you know, this is a very fun movie to go to the theaters with. I, I should have gotten a whiskey and just enjoyed this movie for what it was. But yeah, getting into this movie, I mean, the plot very much leads through this, like, cat and mouse and never knowing the full story type crime story dealing with marijuana. But then, yeah, you get these snappy dialogue, quick banter between all of these characters in this movie. And it's not just a four or five characters, it's this whole ensemble, but the leaders of each of these groups are really the standouts. I mean, Matthew McConaughey kind of dealing with his business. He's stepping away from the, all right, all right, all right, but he's doing his own thing. Colin Farrell is a standout in this film as this like boxer coach character. Oh, and Henry Golding is this like over the top, you know, a rival gang type member, but the true standout in my opinion, and the character that was like the most not his normal character was Hugh Grant. He's like this reporter, but he's very much over the top, eccentric, borderline, like a uh, uh, flirty and, and almost going for this different angle type story dealing with all of these, you know, criminals essentially. So again, I like what Guy Ritchie did with the, the flavor of all of these characters, the dialogue, the comedic elements. Again, it was very self-aware with the screen coming in, talking about film in this weird roundabout way, almost selling a script within a movie about a movie movie in this movie but it's the never knowing the full story again kind of relating back to snatch and his earlier stuff never knowing the full story or never getting the full picture until the very end so i thought that this was a very well crafted very fun very interesting characters and dialogue and comedy elements in this guy ritchie crime movie i thought the gentleman was a hell of a time i mean this was a fun movie to check out at the theaters but i will say that there were some portions of the movie that i thought that it was dragged a bit. Obviously, it all plays in to the very end. There's setup. There's little tiny things here or there that play into it. But I thought that some potentially slower dialogue scenes between two characters dragged a bit. Um, it's not a huge thing, but yeah, it's a little bit of the pacing. But then also another thing, and it's just a personal thing for myself. But just like Snatch, just like all of the other movies, these characters use these uh, United Kingdom British accents that I'm not familiar with. So a lot of the banter, a lot of the vocabulary that they use is quick, is is flying off of each other. So I felt like I missed maybe some of the dialogue between these characters. So some of the times I didn't know exactly what the hell two characters were talking about. Again, this is probably my own personal qualm about the movie. Let me know if you had a problem with the accents or the dialogue as well. Overall, The Gentleman, you know, is a return to form for Guy Ritchie, and it is just a hell of a fun 
fun time at the theaters. With it featuring that signature style of Guy Ritchie, you know, eccentric characters, snappy dialogue, comedic elements in this crime story, and a plot that really, you know, brings you to a nice finish in this film, but with some portions dragging a bit and an accent that I personally found a little hard to understand at times. I would highly recommend checking out The Gentleman. I mean, this is a fun crime movie with very comedic elements, fun characters. Go out, have a couple drinks with a friend, a group of friends, and enjoy this movie. In closing, I'm gonna give The Gentleman 3.6 out of 5 bags of grade A bush. So what did you guys think of The Gentleman? If you've already able to check it out or now you're very excited to check it out, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos over there or right over there, up there, over there, whichever where. Um, I just did an ending explained for The Turning, this latest horror film. My god, is this movie. You definitely check that out over there. Otherwise, watch the review probably up there. Follow all of my social media, like this channel, share this video out, like this video, and until next time, we'll see you later.